Respected viewers, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before we begin, I'd like to take some time to send my condolences to Imam of our time, Imam al Hajjah, Ajjalallahu ta'ala farjah al Sharif, on the martyrdom of Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam. In the Holy Quran, the Almighty Allah says, And be careful of your duty to Allah by whom you demand one of another your rights and to the ties of relationship. Surah An Nisa, Ayah 1. According to Imam al-Baqir the notable point in this is that the fear of Allah is mentioned along with the fear one should have about breaking relations with kith and kin. Nowadays in our society, we see brothers not talking to sisters or bro brothers taking away their sister's rights. We see brothers forcing rules on their sisters and making obligations that have nothing to do with the religion of Islam. Even coming to the point of cutting off their relationship with their siblings due to the reasons of wealth and inheritance, or even taking away their sister's rights. Lady Zainab السلام, contributed actively and positively in all chapters of heroism associated with Imam Hussein السلام, revolution. In the beginning of the revolution, she stood bravely with her brothers, even though she knew their fate. She knew that they were going to be martyred. Her strong will and determination on supporting her brothers in their revolution are the distinctive features that changed the course of history and supplied the seekers of freedom with factors of renaissance and development. Sayyidah Zainab السلام, stood by her brother and participated in all the struggles against the wrong and against the oppression. In our day and time, when a brother needs his sister or his brother's help, they aren't offered that. They don't find the help from their brothers. They are left alone. We see relatives thrown on the streets because they got greedy of the wealth. Sayyidah Zainab السلام, stood by her brothers against oppression, and now we see brothers oppressing one another. Another problem of the relationship of brotherhood is education. The brother is offered education, whereas the sister is not. The sister is to be married off young, to take care of her house, her husband, and her children. She isn't given a chance to fulfill her dream in education, to educate herself. Sayyidah Zainab السلام, represented Imam Hussain in his absence. Whenever Imam Hussain was absent, she used to hold special sessions in Kufa to teach Muslim ladies who would come in to listen to her precious lectures on Islam and the exegesis of the Holy Quran. Sayyidah Zainab السلام, is a teacher who is not taught. Moreover, another problem between sister-brother relationship is death. When the brother or the sister dies, the other sibling is happy that that sibling had passed away. They feel that their control over them was more. They feel that they are free now, they are happy. We also see that when the sibling passes away, the other sibling doesn't ask about that deceased family. When Imam Hussain died, Lady Zainab stood over his body and began to give a thanksgiving prayer. She said, Oh Allah, accept this offering from us. She stood with her brother's family and always remembered her brothers. Sayyidah Zainab السلام, left her husband and occupied her brothers and their families. We see the relationship of Imam Hussain السلام, and Sayyidah Zainab on the night of the Muharram. Imam Ali ibn Hussain السلام, narrates that Sayyidah Zainab السلام, like all other women who prevailed by their tender hearts, could not control herself. She warned she ran towards Imam Hussein's tent and shouted, Oh, for losing you. Oh, for my grief for you. May demise me of life. Oh, for Al Hussein. Oh, for my master. Oh, for the only remaining one of my family members. Is it true that you have submitted to death and despaired of life? On this day, have my grandfather, the messenger of Allah, my mother, Fatima al-Zahra, my father, Ali al-Murtada, and my brother, al-Hassan al-Zaki, have died. You are the successor of the begone ones and the last of their survivors. Sayyidah Zainab السلام, then slapped herself, tore her cloth, and fell unconscious. Imam Hussain السلام, ran towards her and poured water on her face. He consoled her with the following words. Oh, dear sister, I put you under this oath, and please do not break it. 
Never tear a piece of your cloth as a sign of your sadness for me. Never slap your face for mourning at my death. And never invoke wow and perdition when I will be slain. Even though Imam Hussain knew his fate and knew that he would be martyred, he still worried about Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. He knew of the hardships that she was going to face after his martyrdom. He wanted her to be strong because he knew, he knew what was going to happen afterwards. Women's rights are one of the features that Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam represents. In our day and time, women are looked down upon. They have no say, they have no rights. Their brothers force upon them their obligations, what they want them to do. Sayyidah Zainab salam shows us that one must fight for their right that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Sayyidah Zainab salam stood against the oppression of Yazid and Damascus. The incident of the Syrian man proves that women have a voice and could indeed fight for what is right. Among the gathered in the palace of Yazid was a red-headed Syrian man. He saw Fatima Kubra bint al-Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam who asked Yazid to give her to him. When the girl heard of this, she clung on to Sayyidah Zainab and started to weep. She feared that after losing her father, she would become a slave. Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam was not afraid. She turned to Yazid and told him that he had neither right nor authority to give the young girl away, which made Yazid bristle, retorting that he could do so. Zainab alayhi salam reposted, you are abusing me because of your authority and your power. At this, Yazid was shamed into silence. To the Syrian man, she said, may your eyes be blinded and your limbs paralyzed. Soon after paralysis gripped the man, he fell into the ground dead. Yazid was so enraged with Zainab's bold defiance of his authority that he might have ordered to kill her if it not had been for Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al-Aws, who intervened and begged that no notice be taken for her harsh words since she had been suffering from much grief and hardship and was brokenhearted. One should learn from the brotherhood that Imam Hussain had with Sayyidah Zainab. We should also keep in mind that women are strong, that they have rights, they have bold rights. I advise you respected viewers and brothers, sisters, if you have relatives who you have cut relations, if you have siblings who you, have, who you know nothing about, ask about them. Treat your siblings well. Keep Allah in your eyes. Stand for what is right and go against what is wrong. Respected viewers, thank you for tuning in to tonight's episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.